That's when got crazy, and in January, I made a total of Yo, my name is Dante, and I'm a recent college grad working on a AI dopamine detox coach. I've developed five apps in total now. Two of them were freelance projects, and the other three were passion projects that I'm going to be talking about today. Before I share the total revenue numbers, it's important to understand that Apple takes a whopping 30% cut from all apps. Luckily, in 2020, they created the small business program, which allows all apps making under a million dollars in total revenue to get taxed only 15%. So a little background info, I started to learn how to code in 2018, right before university started, and rolled as a computer science major, but 95% of the skills you need to make apps were all self-taught. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like a separate video explaining how I learned to make apps and how I would go about learning how to make apps from scratch today. So my first app was called Dream Check and it was absolute shit. I don't know what I was thinking back then, but for, for some reason I thought it would be a million dollar start. At this point, my coding ability was non-existent. I genuinely didn't know if I could make an app at this point. It took me over six months. I was coding five to eight hours per day and 80% of this time was spent debugging my spaghetti code. There were so many times throughout this process that I almost just quit coding altogether. But after I finally launched it on the app store, it broke that mental barrier in me that only geniuses can make apps. And this was huge for my confidence. Okay, so coding apps is one thing, but idea validation, interface design, user research, marketing, and monetizing were all things I had no idea how to do. And I learned that the hard way. In just six months of launching, I got a whopping 100 downloads and made zero dollars. Oh, no. So I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty discouraged and I got sidetracked when I saw a 16 year old dropshipper on YouTube saying he made millions. And so I decided to try that out for a year. Spoiler alert, it didn't really work out. I really wish I just stuck with making apps. So in 2020, as you all remember, COVID hit and I was just chilling at home and decided that I wanted to make another app, this time specifically for iOS. I learned so much since my last app. I watched all the lectures on Y Combinator's YouTube channel read books like Hacking Growth and The Lean Startup and was a lot more prepared this time. This time I came up with a pretty good app idea. It was a gamified study time. You're rewarded for studying and punished if you try to leave the app while the timer is on. With the coins you collect in the app, you can use these to open mystery boxes. This time I launched a landing page before I even wrote a single line of code with the designs I made in Figma and I was able to collect about 500 signups just by marketing it through Reddit. So this time I knew there were people who wanted this product. It took about four months this time to develop the app. It was a lot more complex than my last app. And after I launched it on the third day, I made my first sale ever, $2.99. This was another huge mental barrier breaking moment for me because some person in Germany who I never met before decided to give me money for something that was just an idea in my head three months ago. The next five months after I launched, I made a total of $50. After some pricing page optimization and a bit of marketing, I was able to quadruple the monthly revenue. So the total downloads for this app up to this date is a little over 40,000 and total revenue generated up to this date is a little over $3,000. Before entering my final year of university, I began suffering a lot of panic attacks and I was looking for a solution and that's how I came across meditation. So for the first three weeks, I did it for just 10 minutes a day and didn't really feel anything. By week four, however, it was like I entered stage mode because I was able to catch myself before I'd entered these vicious thought cycles and my panic attacks just stopped. This spilled into all other areas of my life. I was way more focused, way more happy and had way more clarity than I had ever had before in my life. And that's when I knew meditation really did work. It was just really hard. That's why I decided to turn into a fun game. That's exactly what MindGarden was. I did the same exact Reddit marketing strategy to validate my idea and post a landing page and got a bunch of signups even before I wrote a single line of code. So after coding it up and launching it, I knew I had something when after just the first three months of launching, I made a total of over $1,000. When New Year's season hit in 2022, that's when shit got crazy. And in January, I made a total of $5,000. I did some marketing, which definitely helped. But after this, it flattened to about $3,000 per month for the next 10 months. So total downloads up to this date is $70,000. And total revenues generated up to this date is $58,000. That pretty much wraps it up. I don't work on any of these apps actively anymore as I went on to work on some other big projects. The last thing I'll say is that I'm not special by any means. Due to some personal circumstances, I needed to make money in college. And and it really wasn't a choice for me. So I grinded like there was no tomorrow and I didn't take any weekends off for three years straight. Funny enough, I actually tried to learn how to code in high school three different times and I quit all three times. As cliche as it sounds, it was only when I realized that it was my mindset holding me back that everything changed. I highly recommend reading a book like Can't Hurt Me if you're kind of in this mindset. If you're interested in what I'm working on right now and what I believe is gonna be bigger than all my previous apps combined, check out tridoxo.ai. Also, I'm going to be documenting a lot of the process on this channel. So make sure to subscribe until next time, peace.